I recently participated in an online discussion. And the discussion began with someone posting a statement, something like, I'm new to this spirituality stuff. I don't know what to make sense, how to make sense of it. So where do I begin? By the time I encountered the discussion, there were probably about 20 different posts and they said all kinds of different things. And I read over them and I thought about how I could respond in a way that would be helpful. You know, this isn't just about people who were starting to explore spirituality. Instead, all of us, whether we're brand new or whether we've been engaging in spiritual development for some time, we need to remember that we're always beginners. We start every day as a beginner. It's just like that song from The Sound of Music where Julie Andrews sang. Let's start from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Today I want to talk about that, and as I do, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So yeah, I read through the various responses and they said a lot of different things. No two of them suggested the same thing. That was very interesting. Some said, someone said, why don't you start doing guided meditations? Someone else suggested making a novena. Another person suggested a book. Another person said, explore your shadow side. And I thought, if the person wasn't confused at the beginning, after reading all of these things, they're probably very confused because it was all different kinds of advice. It's not that the advice was bad because it was probably based on other people's experience and what was helpful for them. And sometimes we can learn from other people's experience, but when we're really beginning, we need to start with ourselves and our experience and try to make sense of spirituality for ourselves. And that's the real beginning place. So it's important for us to consider moments or times in life when that we would consider spiritual. Nobody else may use that word about them, but for us, they were spiritual. And if that word spiritual is confusing to you and you're not sure how to define that in your life, think about it in other terms. For instance, when was a time in your life when you had a, a great sense of peace or you had a, a sense of quiet inside? Or when was a time that you were really inspired, maybe inspired by nature or music or artwork or something else? When was a time when you experienced someone loving you for the person you are? Think about that experience. Or, or when things were difficult in life, what helped to get you through? What did you hold on to? All of these things are indicators of spirituality in our life. And so we need to start understanding spirituality based on our own experience. We can learn about spirituality from other sources, but the most important source for our own spiritual path is who we are and how we understand it, how we live it, how we already have lived it, and we build on that. Now, what about folks like me, for whom spirituality isn't new. It's been something that's been part of our life and we've been intentional about it. Well, you know, one of the things that I found about people who are like me, that have learned a lot about spirituality, is that they often confuse their spiritual path and understand the path and have lost sight of the focus on their own experience. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes people learn so much that they know different techniques, they know different steps, they can compare this text to this other text. They know all this different stuff, but when it comes right down to it, they've lost their sense of spirituality in their life. They've lost the sense of that experience. And it's, that's why it's important to always begin as a beginner, to begin each day anew, focused on what nurtures my spiritual life. What is it that nurtures your spiritual life? It's great to know all kinds of things. That can be very informative. But where the rubber hits the road is how it makes an impact on your life. Where is it in your life? 
And that's what we build on. That's what we develop. And when we're focused on that dimension, that experience of feeling the peace, the connection, knowing what gets us through difficult times, what inspires us, what gives us insight, those are the things that help us to grow. Those are the things that help change our life for the better, that make us better people and help us to connect with others and to live with compassion and with hope. So yeah, Julie Andrews was right. Start from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. And remember to always return to the beginning, to return again to your understanding and experience of what it is to be spiritual, to experience wholeness in your life. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, and leave me some comments and questions. I always look forward to those. And know that I really appreciate the time you spend with spirituality beyond borders. Be sure to have a really great day.